Say that there's just an open chest. You walk into the tunnel, try to steal their stuff, but then you fall into the lava pit trap. Because the chest was actually a trapped chest. So, how to build this? First, just let me shift into creative mode. And then I'll show you. So now that I'm in creative mode, I'm going to set the time to day. And then, here's what you need. You need a double trapped chest. You need redstone dust. You need redstone torches. You need sticky pistons. And you need whatever block is around the area. For instance, I'm just going to use stone to fill in the gaps. I'm going to use stone to fill in the gaps, and then I'm going to use stone bricks for the bottom. Stone brick. Right here. Now, wh what you need to do is pretty much just build something like this, except in a cave or space or whatever. Like this. And then place stone bricks there. And then right here, place more sticky pistons. And then place the stone bricks in between like so. Then afterwards, just build up on either side. I'm going to choose to build up on this side. Like, for instance, look. The chest is not elevated one block. So don't elevate your chest. Just simply do something like this. But first, what you need to do is put a trap chest. This. Redstone torches. Add redstone dust. Going around. Like this. And then add redstone dust going around on each side as well. Except, you need to move all of this one block back. So you need to move the sticky pistons here. Like so. And then place the stone bricks on the sticky piston like this. And then move this like this so it looks like a normal stone pathway. Except when you open the chest, it retracts. I built this like this, a double trapped chest with a redstone torch powering the entire circuit. And then... So for now, I'm going to remove the power from the redstone circuit and place stone on either side to blend them with the terrain. I'm removing the power source so you can then dig the pit. You can make it whatever size you want as long as the redstone signal doesn't run out. Then... What you need to do is grab yourself a lava bucket and fill the lava one block high, only one block high, like this, and then grab a normal torch, and if you want to teach your friends a lesson to not steal your stuff ever again, just put a sign in that they can read before they die. Just put a sign in that they can read before they die. 
you can write something like, don't steal my stuff. Like, you can grab a sign of your choice. Plop it down in there. sign and then say don't steal but for now I'm not gonna put the signs there I'm just gonna leave the torches in there torches in there, and then power the circuit again, so that way it looks like a normal pathway. Of course, you would be building this inside of a tunnel, not out in the open like this, otherwise it would look pretty sus. So then your friend comes walking around and decides to try and steal your stuff. Except don't place the redstone torches there, that won't work. As you can see, you have to place the redstone torches on the side of the block. You have to place the redstone torches on the side of the block. Like this. So then your friend comes walking around trying to steal your stuff, and they fall into the pit, and the ceiling closes around them. This is a really good trap to make sure that no one ever st tries to steal your stuff again. basic lava pit trap.